Welcome back to Utah. Um, I have chores. I have one chore, really. And it's not really a chore because I actually really enjoy doing it. I enjoy spending time with the horses. Got to clean their stalls. And actually what I've got to do, I've got to move Ollie over to his new stall. Move his feeder. I'll probably do that first and then clean the stalls. Yeah. Utah living. It's pretty chilly today. It's pretty chilly almost every day, honestly. But it doesn't snow here. Um, it actually, snow doesn't stick here. It did snow here uh, last week and doesn't stick to the ground. Other than that, just pretty chilly. And now Colby's back in town. Right. I bought Colby a one way ticket because I'm not necessarily sure when we're going anywhere else. However, we are going to Montana. Gina gets here next week. And me and Colby and Gina are going to Montana to hang with my bestie. My other bestie, I got two. I got, I mean, you know, calling people your best friend, it never really occurred to me that that is weird to some people. Because some people, like Katie Hun, believes you should only have one of those. But I've got a few. Small group, but a few. I come and we opened up all the columns in the middle so they could come in and with a tractor basically clean it out and then we brought in sand and as you can see they loved it they like to roll around in it but also the sand works like cat litter so like they poop as long as they don't pee and poop in the same spot because like that's what Ollie does and Dusty does but if they kind of poop in dry sand it like sucks moisture out, out of it so when you pick it up it's a lot easier to just pick it up she's so sweet really and out of all of them him for sure it's gonna sound weird to some people but like he's the most human it's like maggie certain dogs are like you're a dog and other ones, it's like, you're like, you can understand every word I'm saying to you. And that's how all he is. And what are we doing today? We are doing hang snatches. It's an upper body day. And when I train with Jake, uh, me and Jake and Sonny have been training. I just do whatever he does, whatever he says. I'm like, all right. He just all aboard the train to Titty City, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, all aboard to Titty City. But also, bench. We're, we're, uh, it's, uh, it's bench day. I'm, re I'm really here just for, for the, the to the booty city, but we're not doing that today. Guys, it's the naked training program right here. And who's doing it? Who's doing it with you guys? Me, Jake Hutton, Sunny Hutton. She's not here today. She'll be here tomorrow. And Tyson over here is joining. Tyson. What up? What up? <laughs> are you excited? Oh, I'm stoked. Have you? Uh, are you stoked for hang? Hang yeah, uh, yeah. snatches. Never done hang snatches. No CrossFit, so this should be fun. All right. <laughs> shoulder to stay above your hips you're not gonna push your butt back so let's just dip and as you stand and you squeeze your butt pull and punch because then what you're gonna do is like 
if it floats here, you're gonna pull and punch and drop under it. Oh, okay. Here. Okay. But you, I want to see your hips get open first. Before anything else. So next, you'll just do this and go from the same position. So dip, and you're gonna drive. You're just gonna think about jump. Yeah, yeah. If you think about jumping before you pull and punch, like before yeah. you pull from here, when you dip drive, the bar is gonna float up a little bit, yeah, yeah. and then it's, and then it's, yeah. Brock, Brock, Brock. How's it? Come back. How is it? You have to have your weight in the better man in the left. Alright, take your turn. Yeah, you're pulling early. How much? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, but you're learning your own. Yeah. So if I give you like too many things to work on, it'll be really difficult. Because I feel like you might pulling from the bars up here. Yeah. Opening up. I think it's, the thing to think about is. Sometimes when the weight it feels heavy in your hands, we rush movement because it's yeah, like yeah. you feel like you have to, you have to pull much harder, or yeah. so you rush it. But in reality, if I pull, it's a very heavy here. Yeah, yeah. The bar, I, it's like I'm holding my last tight, trying to keep it close to my body. It only gets light here, right. and the only way to hit this position is you can't pull early. You have to commit to knowing that once I finish my basically finish my deadlift yeah, yeah. or Open up jump here, yeah. it feels very light, you it like floats, for a and that's when you would pull punch. and punch. Yeah. So like commit to like something like, don't go early. And it's here and you're just gonna bring, it's like you almost, you're bringing your shoulders back. Don't take the weight to your toes, but it becomes more like weight over your midfoot. And when your shoulders get behind the bar, that's when you jump uh, and then pull. Jump, then strong bitch. Swing three sets of 20 at his body weight. I weigh 150 pounds. There's no fucking way. I'm not even, you know. One. I'm gonna do it at, <laughs> I'm gonna do it at my niece's body weight. <laughs> But I'm gone, you gotta keep it up back to my face Taking that gang out of space It's best if you stay in your place They ain't on all of my songs, uh, I don't know what can I say They throw me shots, but I'm saved by his grace God is the shoot, I'm the lace Running around, got me stoned, man Feels like I'm stuck in the maze Shoot at the Oculus, a case They sipping only nine steaks I can't do it on my own, yeah They judging me off my mistakes Floor is so heavenly, most of my friends and a friend of me They tryna bring out the beast I'm batting a thousand, my game is elite I'm running around in the streets, they tryna catch up, but it's still can't complete. I tell the guy in my sleep, he told me keep going, cause you gotta leave. it up, all the brothers can throw them, we add it up. They were touching the corners, I had to dub. I've been running with God, I just leveled up. They won't speak to my face, got that in the door. They've been punning me on like I'm one of those. I can see why they hate, that just ain't me. Tell me a place that I can't go. I don't think they get it, they don't understand. I'ma do it for my homies and my fans. They don't see the vision, they just see the bad. Eyes on the money like a rubber band. That is number one, I follow his command. You can try it, you won't get it. What up, guys? Oh, POV, and my arms are so tired. We are done for this morning. Um, great upper body session, clearly, because if you, I mean, I'm shaking. We are not done for the day, though, so Jake's got a meeting. Uh, me and Chloe are going to head home, and then we're going to go to the track. Running is a key factor for me to get in shape, but also like for Jake, it's his favorite way to get fit. He gets, it's his favorite, but his Achilles has been bothering him for a while, so he hasn't been able to run. 
but it feels good. So we're gonna start slow, probably do some 400 meter intervals, and I feel, I'm pretty excited about it. Cause I'm definitely ready to, sorry. <laughs> I'm definitely ready to go home from the gym, but I am not ready to be done getting fit today. So, Colby. What up? Let's go home. We're going home. Depends how fast I can recover. I just have to recover. Why don't we just, let's do a warm up lap. Yeah. And then we'll probably do 400 meter repeats with anywhere from like, like a 200 meter in between walk. Yeah. I'm gonna around this one. He's a runner, it's his jam. I said, if that's Jake's warm up pace, I'm fucked. <laughs> uh, I probably won't go faster than that. So, what's the breakdown? Why do you like to do the intervals? Instead of just running, just different. You're gonna run, you can maintain a higher. Uh, sorry faster speed, higher intensity in shorter distances and recover and you can still put in, I think you go the same distance where you're going a mile, two mile, 10 miles, break it up in your intervals where your intensity stays higher versus lower so you can stretch it over in like a really long distance. Um, just better, I think, for creating a really good change in your fitness level and getting better and faster. What do you think but, about doing that? I, mean, I like to go on long runs, like slower runs, but it's the high intensity stuff and explosive stuff that actually makes me fitter, feel better, and look better too. So that's why we like it. You like it, Jake? What's up? You like the intervals? You prefer intervals over long, like just going out for a long run. I like both, yeah. but. I'm not a big fan of long runs. Anything over three miles. Well, I mean, like, you know, the longest run for me is five. That's pushing it. Three is my, my sweet spot. Also, if you're someone who gets bored easily, intervals are way better. Change it up. Uh, that was perfect. We kind of decided, one, we, I don't, I don't want Jake to push his Achilles, but neither does he. Because we'd like to run three times a week, like a track day three times a week. And so we're just going to ease into volume out here with a volume of meters we're doing, but also like intensity too. And I mean, I've been running, I came running uh, last week here, but I pushed the intensity a little bit harder today going a shorter distance and then following Jake too, which is really good for me. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. I, I really enjoy running at the track. So it's nice that now I'll have him to like, do track days with, make it more fun and more fun to get better at it. It'll make Sunny come too. Uh, I need a shower and we're gonna take Maggie, me and you for a little hike this afternoon. Uh, back at the gym tomorrow with Jake, bright and early. Jake, how was that run for you? It's good, man. What about tomorrow? What's on the agenda? Speed legs? Well, I'll tell you what's on the agenda, Colby. Some speed legs, yeah. Speed That's what legs. we're gonna do. So, we, <clears throat> the way that I like to train and what we're kind of doing right now, it's like an upper, low, upper lower split six days a week. And so, we just did more of the heavier hypertrophy focused days for the first two days. The next two days are gonna be more like speed focused 
they're just really fun to do. So like tomorrow we'll do speed deadlift, speed squats. We'll probably start with an Olympic lift, but then superset some plyometrics with it. It's just fun and it helps flush the legs. That's why I like it. You don't want to be that old guy that can't jump high, you know? Peace, be still, my darling. All is well, my darling. Right, what are we doing out here? Taking the dogs for a little walk. But really, it's Maggie's taking me and Gunner for a walk. Just got here. Maggie's already pooped. We only have two poop bags, so hopefully we only need two. All right. I don't know if she's excited or scared. I think mostly excited, but sometimes with her anxiety level, it's hard to tell. Are you gonna let her run free? Oh, I don't know. I'd like to, but let's see what's over here. And uh, potentially, potentially we'll let her, let him run free. This is Gunner. This is my brother's golden doodle. Maggie, dude. Hey, we don't need any of you guys to fall down. With. Um, yeah, he's extremely human. So, so much personality, it's hilarious. More super hyper and very relaxed. When we go on a walk, Gunner just loves to take his time, doesn't want to go very far, and Maggie just charges on because she's pissed. Okay, come on. tired man it's amazing it's like I don't hate it but I don't love that I'm getting up earlier to train and then it gets to about this time of day and I'm like oh I'm ready for bed but we're done we got some good training in some good lifting track day Colby's in Utah finally and um, this is nice bringing the dogs up here I haven't been up here in so long so going home gonna eat some dinner see what my see what the parents are doing and we, we will be back at it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Turn your, turn your notifications on. Share with your friends. Drop a comment. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later.